children today we will learn about notes and coins golu and appu are thinking of going to a feat appu told golu that he should get some money while he too would bring his money they will pool all their money and go to the feat and have fun next day golu reached appu's house when appu asked for golu's money golu gave appu his piggy bank appu could not understand this he asked golu why he has given him his piggy bank golu replied that he was aware that his piggy bank has money but he does not know anything about money appu laughed and he said that he would tell golu all about money he broke golu's piggy bank when he broke it many notes and coins came out of it appu separated notes and coins then he put coins on the table like this children have you seen these coins before appu said to golu these are coins this is a 1 rupee coin this is a 2 rupee coin this is a 5 and this is a 10 rupee coin we recognize coins by the number mentioned on them right then golu picked up some coins like this and asked appu you have not told me anything about these coins children have you seen these coins then appu told golu This is a 10 paisa coin. This is 25 paisa coin. And this one is a 50 paisa coin. These coins were in use in our grandfather's time. But they are out of use today. Now Appu spread the notes on the table like this. Children Have you seen notes like this? Have you ever used these to buy something somewhere? Come, let us see which are these notes. Appu told Golu, "This is a five rupee note. This is a ten rupee note. This is twenty. This is fifty. This is hundred." This is 200. This is 500 and this is 2000 rupee note. Golu got really excited after learning about notes and coins. He asked Appu, "When we have notes of such high value, why do we need coins?" Appu said to Golu, What if you need to buy a toffee worth 1 rupee what will you give to buy it Golu quickly picked up a 1 rupee coin and said I will give this 1 rupee coin and if you need to buy a book which is for 100 rupees will you be able to give so many coins Appu asked Golu After thinking for a while Golu said no that is why we need notes to buy things that are costly Appu laughed and explained to Golu <laughs> Golu was really happy to have learned about notes and coins Appu put his money together with Golu's They decided to go to the feet next day. In the next video, we will see what the two friends do at the feet. Children, in this lesson, we learned about notes and coins. We will learn more about these in the next video. 
with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we got to know about notes and coins. In this video, we will learn more about money through examples. In the last video, we saw that Appu and Golu had pulled their money. Now they have reached the feet. Let us see what the two friends are doing. First of all, they arrive at the balloon popping stall. To pop balloons, they need to give 65 rupees. Children, can you tell to give 65 rupees from these, which notes and coins will they need to give? Absolutely correct! By giving a 50 rupee note, a 10 rupee note and a 5 rupee coin, they can pop balloons for 65 rupees. They gave 65 rupees for popping balloons and both had a lot of fun doing it. Now they wish to take a ride. To get a turn on the giant wheel, they need to pay 77 rupees. Can you tell to pay 77 rupees? Which notes and coins from these Will they need to give? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Very good children! You have found the correct answer. Golu and Appu gave a 50 rupee note, a 20 rupee note, one 5 rupee coin and a 2 rupee coin to take a ride for 77 rupees. Golu and Appu had a blast on the giant wheel. Now, they want to buy a toy at bunny shop. They have to pay 389 rupees for the toy. Children, can you identify which notes and coins they will need? Your answer is absolutely correct. Golu and Appu can give these notes and coins to pay 389 rupees for the toy. They gave money for the toy and after buying it, happily started towards their home. In the next video, we will see all the naughty things they do on their way home. Children, in this lesson, we learned more about notes and coins through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will explore some misconceptions related to this. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples related to notes and coins. In this video, we will learn about some misconceptions. Golu and Appu are returning home from the feet. On their way back, they begin to feel hungry. Then they spot Babban's ice cream stall. They have to give 20 rupees to Babban for ice cream. They have this coin and this note. Golu becomes sad. He says to Appu that they have only one 10 rupee note and one 10 rupee coin. Since a coin is less in value, how will they be able to give Babban 20 rupees? Children, what do you think? Is Golu right when he says that a coin is of less value than a note? You are right. Golu is wrong. They have a 10 rupee note and a 10 rupee coin. Their value is exactly the same. 
Appu laughed and explained this fact to Golu. They paid Babban 20 rupees for ice cream and once again happily began their homeward journey while eating ice cream. When they had gone some distance, they came across Chanda's fruit stall. They took fruits from Chanda. But now, they need to pay 100 rupees. Both grew nervous. They thought they had paid the last 20 rupees to Babban. So how would they give money to Chanda? Then Appu rummaged through his bag and found this 100 rupee note. Golu grew even more tensed. He told Appu that it was a fake note. Children, do you think what Golu is saying is right? No, what Golu is saying is wrong. This note is a real note. From time to time, the government makes changes in the way notes and coins are printed. Thus, it is possible to have notes and coins to be of the same value but look different. For example, notice different notes of 10, 20, 50 and 100 rupee notes while 1, 2 and 5 rupee coins have different versions and all these are absolutely real. Appu explained this to Golu and gave that 100 rupee note to Chanda. While happily eating the fruit, they both reached their homes. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to notes and coins. Today we will learn to convert rupee into paise. Today Bablu and Minu have come to Raju's house. Bablu and Minu saw the clock at Raju's house and both were shocked. When Raju asked them why they were surprised, both of them told him that they had exactly the same kind of clock at their homes. Raju told both of them that his grandfather had bought the clock by paying only 10 numbers of 10 paise. Then Bablu told Raju that Raju's grandfather bought that clock for a high price. His grandfather bought the clock by paying only 425 paise. Then Minu told them that their grandfathers had paid more money for that clock. Her grandfather bought the clock by paying only 250 paise. Children, do you remember we saw these coins in the previous video? These coins were used in earlier times, but now they are not used. Do you know another interesting thing? 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. Let's see how much money each grandfather paid for the clock. Raju's grandfather gave 10, 10 paise coins to buy the clock. How much money does 10 times 10 paise coins total to? That's correct. 10 times 10 becomes 100 paise. And how many rupees is 100 paise? 1 rupee. Raju's grandfather bought the clock for 1 rupee. Now let's see how much money Bablu's grandfather gave for the clock. Bablu's grandfather gave 4 25 paise coins to buy the clock. Can you tell how much money was paid by Bablu's grandfather to buy the clock? Yes, 
Bablu's grandfather gave four times twenty-five or hundred paise. In this way, Bablu's grandfather also bought the clock for hundred paise or one rupee. Now, finally, let's see how much money Minu's grandfather paid for the clock. Minu's grandfather gave two fifty paise coins to buy the clock. So, for how much did Minu's grandfather buy the clock? Two times fifty, or one hundred paise. Hey, this means. That Minu's grandfather also bought the clock for one rupee. When Raju, Bablu, and Minu realized that all their grandfathers had bought the clock for only one rupee, they started laughing loudly. Children, in this video, we learned to convert rupee to paise. In the next video, we will learn more about it. with some interesting examples in the previous video we learned to convert rupee to paise in this video we will learn more about it with some interesting examples gaggu has come to buy groceries today He asked Bhola the price of 1 kg of chickpeas. Bhola told him that 1 kg of chickpeas is worth 8 rupees 50 paise. Children, do you know that we write the price of any item in this way as well? Here the number written to the left of the dot is in rupees. and the number written to the right of the dot is in paise in this way the price of 1 kg of chickpeas is 8 rupees 50 paise and children do you remember that in the last video we learned that 1 rupee is worth 100 paise now if we want to know how much is The price of chickpeas. How will we do it? One rupee is equal to hundred paise. So eight rupees is equal to eight times hundred, or eight hundred paise. So now, what do we have to do to find out how much paise was to be given? Yes. We have to add fifty paise to eight hundred paise. In this way, the price of one kg of chickpeas is eight hundred fifty paise. Gaggu gave the price of chickpeas to Bhola and bought one kg of chickpeas. Now, Gaggu asked Bhola the price of a packet of biscuits. Bhola told Gaggu the price of the biscuits. If Gaggu gave Bhola these notes and coins for biscuits, then can you find out what the cost of packet of biscuits is? That's correct. Here, five rupees and one rupee added together becomes six rupees. And how much is three fifty paise? Three times fifty, or one hundred and fifty paise. If we write it in rupees, then how many rupees will it be? Hundred paise is one rupee, and we have fifty paise left. In this way, one hundred and fifty paise becomes one rupee and fifty paise. Now. If we add it to the six rupees, then the price of a packet of biscuits is seven rupees and fifty paise. How do we write this using dot? It is very easy. 
make a point like this now the number of rupees is on the left side of the point that is 7 and the number of paise is to the right of the point that is 50 in this way we can write the price of a packet of biscuits in rupees and paise children here the price of a soap is shown in notes and coins can you tell how much the soap costs if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done children you have found the right answer the soap costs 13 rupees 50 paise here is a table children can you fill this table if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done children you have done it perfectly gaggu took his purchased items and now walked towards his house children in this video we learnt more about how to convert rupee to paise with some interesting examples in this video we will learn to add and subtract money golu's birthday is coming and all the friends together want to buy a gift for him sher khan appu and raju together will buy a gift and meenu bablu and chanda will buy another gift let us see which gift sher khan appu and raju together want to buy All three friends have come to Gaggu's toy store. They have to buy a hat and a pencil. The cap is rupees eighty, and the pencil is twelve rupees fifty paise. Children, can you tell how much money will they have to pay to buy the gift? What operations do we have to use to do this? Absolutely right. Addition. First, we will add the numbers of paise. Is there an amount of paise in the cap price? No. Is there any paise in the price of a pencil? Yes. Fifty paise. How much paise will there be if you add fifty paise? to zero paise exactly 50 paise now we will add the rupee numbers the cap here costs 80 rupees and how much is the price of a pencil 12 80 added to 12 is 92 rupees in this way the total value of both the items became 92 rupees and 50 paise How do we write this using dots as rupees? All right. To the left of the point, we will write the number of rupees, and to the right, we place paise. The three together paid the price of hat and pencil and bought the gift. Now let us see what gifts are the other three buying together. All three of them have come to Babble Uncle's shop. They are buying a new shirt as a gift for Golu. The price of the shirt is one twenty-five rupees fifty paise. He gave one fifty rupees to Babble Uncle. Can you tell me how much money Uncle will have to return to them? Children, what operation do we have to use to find this out? Yes, subtraction. We can write it as subtraction in this way. Children, while subtracting, we first subtract the number of paise. 
Is there any paise for 150 rupees? No. Then, how will we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from 0 paise of 150 rupees? Do you remember the borrowing process learned in the lesson of subtraction? Here, we will use the borrowing process. How much is 1 rupee worth? 100. We will borrow 1 rupee out of 150. We will show it in this way by cutting 150 to 149. Now, if we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from the borrowed 100 paise of 150, then how many paise are left? That's right, 50 paise. Now, we will subtract the number of rupees 149 minus 125. 24 rupees. In this way, Uncle will have to return them 24 rupees 50 paise. The uncle returned him 24 rupees 50 paise. The three friends returned home excited with the shirt. The next day, when Golu saw his gifts on his birthday, he started dancing happily. All friends celebrated Golu's birthday in a grand manner. In this video, we learn to add and subtract money. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Oh kids, in the previous video, we learned to add and subtract money. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu together have collected rupees 100. Both of them have decided to eat delicious things today with that money. Both of them have come to Babban's ice cream stall first. Babban handed him the menu card of his stall. The menu cards have various ice cream names and their prices written in this way. Raju and Bablu first ate one choco bar ice cream and one vanilla ice cream. Then both of them got together and shared one orange candy. Now both of them are thinking how much they have to pay for the ice cream to Bappan. Kids, can you help them? Come, let's solve it together. To know the total amount, we have to add the prices of all three ice creams. We will first write the price of all three ice creams in rupees and paise in this way. Now, we will add the amount of paise first. Can you tell the total amount of paise? Right! 50 paise. Then, we will add all the rupees. What is the total amount? Yes, 15 rupees. In this way, Raju and Bablu will have to pay 15 rupees 50 paise to Babban. He paid Babban for the ice cream and later reached Appu's sweet shop. They ate a stomach full of samosa and jalebi and barfi. If they gave Appu a total of 50 rupees 50 paise for all the things, so can you tell how many rupees are left with both of them now? First, we will find out the total amount spent by both of them. Children, can you add these two amounts and tell how much money Raju and Bablu have spent together? First, we will add the numbers written in paise. 
by adding 50 and 50, we get 100. Can we write 100 paise here? No. So what should we do now? Kids, do you remember? How much is 100 paise worth? Right, 1 rupee. Therefore, we will write 100 paise as carry over in this number of rupees. And now, how much paise are left with us? Zero paise. Children, now can you add the total number of rupees? Well done, children. This is absolutely correct. 66 rupees in total. We have used addition to find these answers. In this way, Raju and Bablu spent a total of 66 rupees. Raju and Bablu had 100 rupees in the beginning. So can you tell how many rupees they have left now? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Wow kids, you have found the right answer. Raju and Bablu now have 34 rupees left. Children, we have used subtraction to find these answers. Both of them were full and they went for a walk. In this video, we learn to add and subtract money with some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned to add and subtract money with some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some common mistakes related to it. Raju and Bablu have come to Gagu's shop to buy notebooks, pencils and some other items. Raju asked Gagu for one notebook, one rubber and one pencil. Gagu added the value of all three items in this way. Children, Tell me if Gaggu's addition is correct. No. Gaggu has done the addition wrong. Kids, can you tell what mistake has Gaggu made? Let's find this out by putting this addition together. What shall we do first? We'll add the numbers of paise. How much money do we get by adding 50 and 50 paise? 100 paise. How do we write this? Yes, we will write 100 paise as carryover in this way. See kids, Gaggu added 100 paise correctly, but he Forgot to write the carryover made from it. Now can you tell by adding rupees how much Raju actually has to pay for the goods to Gaggu? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the right answer. Raju owes Gaggu 23 rupees for those items. Just like you, Raju too caught Gaggu's mistake and gave him 23 rupees. Now Bablu asked for one pencil box from Gaggu and gave a 50 rupee note to Gaggu. In this way, Gaggu deducted 22 rupees 50 paise of the pencil box from rupees 50 and returned 28 rupees 50 paise. Children, has Gaggu returned the right amount to Bablu? Let's see. 
first we will subtract the numbers written in paise oh no can we deduct 50 paise out of zero paise no so what shall we do now all right now we will use the borrowing process we will borrow 1 rupee out of 50 rupees and in this way we will write it as 100 paise and since we have borrowed 1 rupee what do we have to do yes we have to cut 50 rupees and write 49 rupees now out of 100 paise how much money is left after deducting 50 paise 50 paise children if we look at the subtraction done by gaggu we will find that gaggu also used the borrowing process like us but he forgot to cut 50 rupees and write 49 rupees therefore the amount returned by gaggu to bablu was wrong children can you find the right amount by subtracting the numbers written in rupees well done children you have written the correct answer gaggu was to return 27 rupees 50 paise to bablu bablu too quickly did the math like us and found out that gaggu gave him 1 rupee more he promptly returned 1 rupee to gaggu gaggu was happy to see the honesty of those children and gave them 1 1 pencil for free in this video we saw some common mistakes related to adding and subtracting money hello kids in this video we will learn about the rate chart and the bill today appu has come to bunny stall to buy gifts for his friend appu first asked bunny the price of the mask bunny told him that one mask is for 12 rupees appu asks for three masks from him bunny told him that three masks would be for 36 rupees appu was shocked he did not understand how bunny found this out children do you know how bunny found this out the price of one mask is 12 rupees if we want to know the cost of three masks then what process can we use absolutely right the process of multiplication 3 times 12 is 36 in this way the cost of 3 masks becomes 36 rupees children if we know the value of a unit of any item then we use the process of multiplication to find the price of its units now appu saw beautiful cap on bunny stall he saw one such board next to the cap the price of each item available at bunny stall was written on the board children have you seen any such board in a shop This is a rate chart. We can see the price of one piece of each item. Appu has to buy two caps. Now Appu is thinking that the price of one cap is seven rupees fifty paise. So how much will two caps cost? Come, let us help Appu. 
First, we will write the price of a cap in rupees and paise in this way. Now, what do we need to do to find the price of two caps? Yes, we have to use the process of multiplication. First, we multiply the paise. So, multiply 50 by 2. So, how much money did that make? Exactly, 100 paise. Now, we will multiply the number 7 written in rupees by 2. That makes 14 rupees. But, how much rupees is 100 paise? Absolutely right! 1 rupee. Now, if we add the numbers of rupees and paise, then the value of two caps would be 14 plus 1 or 15 rupees, 0 paise. Banni asks Appu if he wants to buy any other item, to which Appu denies. Bunny immediately wrote something on a slip and hands it over to Appu. After looking at the slip, Appu could not understand anything. Children, have you ever seen a similar slip before? We call it Bill. Whenever we buy items from any shop, the shopkeeper gives us one such bill. What do you see in a bill? Yes, the shop name is written like this at the top. List of purchased goods is written here. This is the rate per baggage. And here, the total cost of each item is written in rupee and paise. And in the end, is the total price of all these purchased items. Can you tell how Bunny wrote this total price? Yes! To find out, Bunny has added the cost of three masks and two caps. If we add 15 to 36, how much do we get? Right! We get 51 rupees. Bunny explained the bill to Appu in exactly the same way. Now Appu gave 51 rupees to Bunny and happily returned to his house with the purchased items. Children, in this video, we learned about the rate chart and the bill. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learn about the rate chart and the bill. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Uncle gave Raju and Bablu 50-50 rupees for helping him get some goods from the market. Now there is a bet between Raju and Bablu that whoever buys the most number of items from his 50 rupees will be the winner. Now Raju and Bablu reached the Gaggu's shop. Such a board is installed on the shop of Gaggu on which the prices of goods are written. Children, do you remember what we call such a board? Absolutely right! Great chart! Raju purchased two pencils, two erasers, one pencil box from Gaggu. Children, can you fill the empty spaces in this well made by Gaggu? First, we will find the price of two pencils. 
the price of one pencil is four rupees fifty paise. So, how much will two pencil cost? First, we multiply the paise number fifty by two. So, how much money did that make? All right, hundred paise. Now. We will multiply the number four in rupees by two, and that would be eight rupees. But how much rupees is hundred paise? That's right, one rupee. Now, if we add paise and rupee, the value of two pencils will be eight plus one. Or nine rupees zero paise. We will write it in the bill in this way. Children, can you now find the price of two erasers and write it in the bill? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids! You have found the answer right. Children, now how will we find out the total cost of goods? Yes, if we add nine, seven, and thirty-two rupees, then the total items will be priced exactly forty-eight rupees. Let us write it this way in the bill. In this way. How many items did Raju buy, and in how many rupees? Yes, Raju bought a total of five items for forty-eight rupees. This is a bill for the purchased items of Bablu here. Can you complete it and find out whether Bablu bought less or more items than Raju? And how much money did he spend? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids! You have done it perfectly. Raju bought a total of five items for forty-eight rupees. And how many items did Bablu buy for how many rupees? Yes, Bablu bought six items. For fifty rupees, in this way, Bablu won the bet, and see how he's happily dancing. Children, in this video, we learned more about rate charts and bills with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it. Hello kids in the previous video we learned more about rate charts and bills by some interesting examples in this video we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it bhola and sher khan have come to golu's dairy they want to drink spice milk first golu has placed Six bottles like this on a tray of spice milk. Sher Khan saw that Golu had written on that tray, "Masala milk, rupees ten." He got excited. He immediately asked Golu for six bottles of spiced milk. Sher Khan and Bhola emptied their bottles of spice milk with great fun. Now. Sher Khan gave ten rupees for spiced milk to Golu, but Golu told him that he had taken six bottles of spiced milk, so 
he would have to pay 60 rupees. Sher Khan was shocked to hear this. Children, can you tell who is correct between the two? Yes, Golu is right. Even though there were six bottles of spiced milk in the tray, the price he wrote was the price per bottle. In this way, if the price of one bottle is rupees 10, what will be the cost of six bottles? That's right. The price of six bottles will be 6 multiplied by 10 or 60 rupees. Golu explained this to Sher Khan and Sher Khan understood it. Now Bhola and Sher Khan want to carry two bottles of lassi and three bottles of almond milk for their friends. Golu gave him all the bottles and also made a will for the same at the same time. Children, can you see this will and tell if Golu has made it correctly? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done children! You have found the answer quite rightly. Golu calculated the amount of money while finding the total price of Lassi. But when he wrote 100 paise as 1 rupee, then he forgot to add it to the number 24. So, what should be the cost of two bottles of Lassi? Yes! 25 rupees. Children, now can you find the true value of total items? Well done, children. You have found the answer correctly. Sher Khan and Bhola owe a total of 130 rupees to Golu. Bhola also found out the mistake of Golu's receipt like you did and gave him 130 rupees. Now Sher Khan and Bhola went to meet their friends with the bottles they bought. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to the rate chart and the bill.